Here we see a paramecium, very much deformed, still alive. You can see the cilia beating here, but there's a blister. And of course, it's not swimming at all. And looking at this through the DIC filter, hopefully you can see that. It's taking his time. Current frequency is 1168 hertz, plus its 11th harmonic, 12,848. Now we have a second blister forming up here, and this is a large blister. So let's watch carefully uh, 229 seconds on this uh, frequency. Another blister forming, several along the bottom. Oh, here we go. Total destruction of the paramecium. Tremendous structural changes happening inside, openings in the cell membranes. Notice as the contents is released, the formation of the spheres. Now internal structure really completely destroyed in a paramecium. This was a paramecium. This frequency is 1168 hertz plus the 11th harmonic, 12,848. Today is January 19th, 2008. This is about 110 watts, SWR 1.1. Eight. This is a Rife Bear plasma experiment and the plasma device is about six inches away from the microscope slide. We continue to see degradation in the organism. We're looking at this through a microscope filter known as a DIC filter which gives us a nice sense of uh, contrast and surface texture. You can alter the filter live. Now this is with the 40x objective and I think you won't see quite as much variation. We continue to see uh, changes in the organism. It's completely unrecognizable now formerly a paramecium. This is a uh, paramecium and uh, if you look carefully you'll see there are some blisters in the bottom. Let me move them up just a little bit so you can see that. Ah, another two more new blisters just formed on top. Here, and here's two blisters, and uh, something just broke here. Oh, we have a, I believe he just exploded. There's material being vented, probably from the underside. Watch the internal structure is all changing now. We were just lucky the camera was on. 200 seconds at 1170 hertz and it's 11 harmonic, 12,870. And he is completely devitalizing in real time. Completely destroyed in a very dramatic way here. Look at that. Notice the spheres forming. Paramecium. Undergoing complete, utter, total destruction. Let me move him a little to your left there. So you can see it a little better. You see all those spheroids that formed? That's very interesting and unique to this process. 
we can probably highlight those outlines by changing the focus a little bit. Lots of spheres everywhere. And that is the end of a paramecium caused by a plasma light, a rife bare plasma device about six inches away. 110 watts. SWR 1.18, 1170 hertz, and it's 11 harmonic, 12,870 hertz. Here's another organism, a paramecium, who has stopped swimming and is changing shape. This is the 40x objective. I guess I could put the scale up there. I haven't checked the scale today to see if it's right, but. Let's take a chance. I'll check it later. Uh, he seems to be changing uh, shape using a special uh, microscope filter. It's known as the DIC filter, differential interference contrast filter, which is supposed to provide different uh, angles of light. DIC and how the light travels through the organism. Sometimes the DIC filter is good for catching certain details. You'll see the colors are subtly shifting. Sometimes the DIC brings out different aspects of the organism. You're watching a destruction of a paramecium in real time. Now you see there's been an internal destruction. You can see that the uh, normal structures, internal structures, have been distorted. And now you're seeing uh, blisters coming out on the organism. And complete change. We're watching this through uh, what's known as a DIC filter on the microscope. This organism is being subjected to uh, two frequencies right now, two plasma frequencies. Watch carefully all the changes you're seeing here. The two frequencies are 1176 plus the 11th harmonic of that, 12,000. 936. It's about 110 watts. SWR 1.18 approximately. And now I, I see no cilia action on the organism and I believe is internally uh, destroyed. We, still, we do see some changes though ongoing here.
That's a nice picture of the devitalized paramecium done with the DIC filter. You can see uh, numerous internal parts are showing up in different colors. Something like Royal Raymond Reif would say staining with colors. There are no stains being used. This was a living organism and we're just altering the filters through which the, which the uh, light passes and we are getting those different colors you're seeing on the screen. Now watch carefully out the right end here. You can see that. I'll try to center the organism a little bit. And you see he's emptying his contents. And it's forming a sphere. Let's see if we can focus it in a way that you can see the outline better. Now you can see the sphere is being formed. And of course there's a blister on the other end as well. Here's a large sphere being formed. We'll watch this as it develops. And I think uh, we just had something burst on the bottom of the organism. Things are coming out. A little burst of material came out. Maybe you can see those colors now, which are caused by using the DIC filter. Still internal changes happening. Ongoing destruction of a paramecium caused by a rife bear plasma device being fed two frequencies. The plasma device is about six inches away from the microscope slide and you're seeing the results. Here's another paramecium undergoing destruction in real time, being hit by two frequencies, 1175 hertz and the 11th harmonic, 12,925. The power reading is about 110 watts, SWR 1.18. And let's watch him carefully. He is undergoing, this, it was a sudden, dramatic change. He had stopped swimming here. We see an explosion right here. And of course, he's exploding out the top as well. So we have several openings and you can see some blisters forming along the bottom. Note the formation of the spheroids here. We've seen this before with blepharisma. As the Internal material is ejected, it's forming into spheres, which is very interesting. I'm going to quickly uh, change the lighting here and see what is revealed. We'll lose the picture for one second. There you can see the organism is touching an air bubble here, or was touching an air bubble. And you can see the remnants of it. It's really uh, interesting to watch this because you can see, maybe if I put a touch of filter on there. No, it doesn't really help. You see that there, uh, there are some spheres forming over here. 
That was a paramecium. We have a paramecium here who seems to be changing shape. It's getting rather roundish. He's being hit by two frequencies. 1175 hertz and 12,925 hertz and he's kind of vibrating which is a sign it used to be a sign of blepharisma anyway that something might be happening Let's see if we can get a good focus for you Here we have a par paramecium undergoing a shape change. Change the lighting a little bit. This was a paramecium being hit with two frequencies, 1175 hertz. 1175 hertz that is and the 11th harmonic 12,925 hertz and we are seeing tremendous shape change here we'll work with the focus a little bit so you can see that watch it carefully and see if any more shape changes occur. These changes seem to have begun within, I would say, within two minutes of arriving at a particular, these particular frequencies. And it's possible that he is done changing right now. I don't see any cilia action in the scope. No movement of any kind. I would say this paramecium has been devitalized. This is live devitalization of a paramecium. You can see it's already changed in shape quite a bit. Give the computer a little more light to work with. This is under the 40X objective. Try to center it on the screen.
being pushed across the stage by a microscope by an air bubble. And this is the remnant of another paramecium on the same slide who also underwent destruction. We'll change the focus a little bit. Seems to be venting. Sorry, the uh, computer went to sleep. Seems to be venting material on the left side of the organism there. You can see that. A little, a little tricky to see.